Hello, my name's Mike, M0MSN, and in the last video I showed you how to build a coil for 160 metres. Um, and in this video I'd like to explain um, how that works, if I can, um, and how I got the measurements, and uh, in the, indeed how it works. Um, <laughs> I've said that twice. <laughs> um, okay, so how it, how I got the measurements. Um, there's one thing that I already knew, and that was the length of the, the driven element. Um, and the driven element was the, the 40 element off of the DX Commander, which uh, is 11.15 um, meters in length. Um, so armed with that information, I know I needed a coil um, to give a certain amount of inductance that will work. So I jumped onto um, a, a calculator, a coil calculator. I, let me see if I can find the URL for you. Um, it's a coil shortened vertical antennas. I'll post the URL probably in the link here-ish. Um, and uh, basically had to convert the meters into feet. Um, to do that, I used Google. Um, and then from the conversion, put the information into the uh, into the calculator put the, uh, the frequency I wanted to aim at, uh, and this gave me uh, the induction I needed um, from the coil. Um, from that, you then have to go to a coil induction calculator, um, and this is where the guesswork starts, really. Um, again, I know the diameter of the, the former, um, but I have to guess how many turns I require to get the right uh, amount of inductions, how many uh, micro Henry's. Um, so the first calculation is a pure guess. Um, you know, will it need 40, 30, 50, 100, who knows? Um, but as a pure guess, uh, and working from um, previous coils I've made, like, like the Rowley coil, for instance, uh, that requires 50 turns, um, but that's on a, on a, on a thinner, diameter um, former and for 80 meters not for 160 meters so I decided to to start with 40 because it's a it's a wider diameter put that into the into the calculator spacing is 2.5 mil so you have to measure the length of, of the coil that you've got and then that will um, give you the micro Henry's or, or the number of bananas indeed once you've calculated the number of turns that you you require um, to get to the, the, the correct amount of, of, of micro Henry's, uh, the induction that you require, um, you then know whereabouts you need to put the first tap. Um, well, so what I've done, instead of tapping the coil, I put an earth um, clamp around it. Uh, and with that, you can loosen it and move it up and down the coil. Um, so a good place to start in this particular case was 50 um, turns from um, the base of the coil. So that's where I placed the, um, the earth clamp, uh, connected at the aerial, uh, and then did a quick SWR to see where we were with it. Okay. So what we have is the coil, and obviously it doesn't need to be as long as I've made it. Um, however, it will allow me to uh, put a much shorter aerial on to make it a lot more bearable for other bands as well. Um, but for the, the DX Commander's um, 40 meter element, uh, this is the point where it will reach the 160 uh, meter band. Um, so I'm going to mark it uh, now, and uh, yeah, it works. <laughs> what can I say? So I'm going to mark that with a bit of black there. So that's 160. Always put this at the bottom. 160. 
and see what else we can get on it. So I think 80 is going to be around here, uh, 40 is uh, there. So anyway. coil works. Uh, and that is fully synthesized, you know, everything is just uh, done for sort of all things to generate in the synthesizer. Um, but uh, yeah, it's an interesting rig. But I'll tell you what, are you, are you, are you serious about wanting to uh, allow rig to play with? So that's how I can get a carrier. 1850, let's make sure there's no way there, there isn't, okay, and, okay, it's two, so let's go into 1860 land, 18, let's do it, let's do 1880, it's coming down to below 1.5, It's pretty close to uh, 1.1. 1 .1. Let's see, 1.1, 1.12, 1.2. Let's go to just below the top of the band, which is around there-ish. I don't want to go any higher because I'm actually using my AM, I go out of band. And it's back up at two again, so okay. So the coil will cover the band um, reasonably happily. Uh, it's not a particularly wide band, so uh, good stuff. Yeah, it works. Guessing it's around here. Okay, let's go and have a go. Mike Zero, Mike Sierra November. Yes, good afternoon, John. The name here is Mike um, from the town of Gloucester. I think we've had a QSO before in the past. Uh, I heard you shouting, so I thought I'd go back to you. M0 MSN. M0 MSN um, returning. Yes, John, thanks. We're all copied. Uh, yeah, we've got some pretty bad weather this end as well, to be perfectly honest. We're a bit overcast and a bit uh, miserable. Um, I'm running an experimental antenna at the moment. I've uh, I've got a, a DX Commander with a, um, a base loading coil on the bottom. Um, so I'm using a 40 meter element and a base loaded coil to bring it up to the 80 meter band. And I'm just wondering uh, if it's uh, how it's getting out to you, back to you. Uh, a vertical quarter wave uh, and, and uh, 
and uh, you know, the shot and uh, it was interesting that the side pole generally was better uh, uh, than the uh, uh, event. It was a bit of a hike for, for, for pedigree or even going down that way at all. But I mean, I have a good points of pedigree all over the place. But, um, yeah, he can't, you know, some of the talk about that, he can't, Charlie wanted to pop into uh, training place and find some bits and bobs on the way back yesterday. So there you are, it works. Um, I don't think it's ever going to set the world alight. Um, but if you are uh, in a predicament where you have um, a little space, um, then the, the, the coil will certainly uh, work for you on, uh, indeed, in this case, 40, 80 and 160. Um, is, is it is a big compromise there's no two ways about it it's uh it's a good um 4s points uh down on a um on a, on a proper uh, quarter wave um it's 3s points down on a proper quarter wave for 80. um so it, but you know if you're stuck for space then uh, this this is your uh, this is an answer and also as a portable well you know um, DX Commander, uh, 40 meter element, coil on the bottom, spot on, um, you know, it, it will work for you. Uh, so there we are. Um, thanks very much for watching. Uh, if you enjoy what you've seen, please subscribe. Um, if you uh, um, don't, please subscribe uh, and um, just subscribe. Cheers. Thanks so much. Bye bye.